The Zacks rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zacks rank buys. LCD screens and sporting goods. That's what we're talking about in this aggressive growth segment with our aggressive growth stock strategist, Brian Bolin. Um, you have an interest in uh, both of these areas, Well, right? you would think that it's like March Madness or something going on here. LCD screens, I'm talking like the big, uh, you know, 65-inch television screens. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sporting goods, thinking some round ball. Never know. Never know. Okay, well, yeah, the March Madness tournament gets underway today, March 16th. Right. Uh, but we're going to take a look at a couple stocks, not necessarily that are, you know, tied to college basketball but or basketball at all, really. Keeping with the theme. But just the theme, you know. So yeah. AU. I got it. Uh, a, yeah, AU Opt Optronics. Mm. Uh, AUO is the ticker there. Easy for you to say. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> uh, when I'm not too congested. Mm. Uh, the, the, uh, the company makes uh, LCD screens and AMOLED screens. Uh, so the That's uh, some organic thing, right? That's right. Uh, AM is active matrix and OLED screens. You might have heard of those. Those are the organic light emitting displays. As opposed to inactive matrix. As opposed if there to is such a thing, right? which I don't even know. Well, yeah, and, and really the technology somewhat escapes me, but I know that it's the it's the new in thing. It's the high resolution, super high end. You know, they, they have these things on like the Apple Watch and you know mm -hmm. these uh, flat panel displays. But you really want to see this on your you know your bended screen television, that sort of thing. It's got the word organic in it, so it must be good. Right. right? They don't sell it at Whole Foods, though. I don't think anything with organic in it is a good thing. <laughs> right. What I've been conditioned to believe. As we take a look at the uh, the screen here, we can see it is a Zach's rank number one strong buy. Clean slate of A's on the report card, Terry. A for value, A for growth, A for momentum. Forward PE three times. Three times earnings. I mean, that's a really small forward PE. Mm -hmm. uh, this company is based in Taiwan, though, so they don't have a normal reporting structure like we would have here in the States. I mean, they're going to have quarterly estimates or, or, or numbers come out, mm -hmm. but every month they report their sales. And trade on the New York? Uh, yes, they trade on the New York Stock Exchange. I'm sure AUO, three-letter uh, symbol. Yeah. We see it from BATS here. But I'm, I'm just sure. wondering because you said Taiwanese company. Yeah, so. it's an ADR. Um, oh, okay. You know, it's a $3.7 billion company, so, you, I mean, you're, you're still small-ish, yeah. but, uh, you know, bumping up against that uh, mid-cap, so SMID cap okay. uh, company. Mm -hmm. But the idea here is that uh, they've reported sales for uh, January and February, and they've both been pretty good. February especially saw 41% year-over-year revenue growth. Uh, so when you've got two of the three quarters already in there looking good, the probability of the third month coming in pretty strong is pretty well, is pretty good there. So uh, looking for a good earnings report coming up. Uh, you know, today it, this stock was the bull of the day as well. So if we take a look at the screen, I'm just going to take a quick look at just a couple of the charts here that I have in the bull uh, of the day article. Uh, ASPs per square meter. Now, uh, ASPs are average selling price. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see that over the last couple quarters, the average selling price has been trending higher, so we like to see that. Uh, then the other thing that I want to show you here is just the, uh, the, the bigger uh, size screens. So this is 39 uh, inch. You, you probably can't read that. The, these kind of purple looking numbers here, 15% and 17% of the last couple quarters, uh, 39 to 50 and then 50 and above. So what we want to see in the next quarterly report is this, two, this segment right here, uh, totaling more than 44% uh, of the total. So the, the larger the screen, uh, the higher the price. So ASP is moving higher. And the and, better the product. And better the product, maybe. Uh, <laughs> you know, it depends on what, you, what, what size screen you want. But right. uh, generally, larger the screen, uh, larger the price, and bigger margin, generally speaking. You know, it's not always the case, but if you, if you line those three things up, Mm -hmm. uh, you've got three things that are working in the right direction. And if you happen to be watching a show on it in standard definition, you will have big margins <laughs> on the side of the screen. <laughs> exactly. Oh, the so. bigger the margins, the better. Just increase the font size. I guess, yeah. <laughs> and hit stretch on the remote. Right. All right. So in front of these uh, TV screens, uh, one may want to uh, watch a sporting event with their sports gear either on them or in hand, right? Right. I, I was thinking you're, you're cheering for your favorite uh, college basketball team. Terry, which one uh, have you selected to win? Yes. You have? Okay. 
keeping it a so, secret. Enter Big Five Sporting Goods. Right, Big Five Sporting Goods. Uh, and we were just talking about this just before the start. I think we're going to find out here. Uh, it doesn't say. Um, but I know this is a West Coast-based company. Okay. Uh, I know when I was out in California a little while ago, I saw a lot of uh, Big Five Sporting Goods stores. Okay. You don't really see them too much here in the Midwest or out on the East Coast. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, end idea here is that this is one of these retail things, you know, retail names. And retail has been pounded pretty heavily, mm. uh, but they just reported a very good quarter. And it really the best type of quarter there is. It's a beat and raise quarter. But this would be specialty retailer. They've always been able to hold their own. Generally speaking, yes, but right. you know that Amazon monster has just gotten to be so you know gigantic when you think about the Prime and two-day free shipping yeah. and all the customers that have that now. Right. It's you know, do I want to go and even go to get the basketball or go to get the jersey or go to get the thing when it can just show up at my door? Yeah, with a drone. Yeah, with a drone, hopefully, hey, maybe. Right. Right. So big five. Let's take a look at the screen here. We can see it as a, a strong buy. Zach's rank number one strong buy. Uh, a for value. A for growth. I love to see that A growth. I like to see the divergence, but I'm not going to be too worried right here with the 13 times forward multiple. Um, we can see the move here was from the earnings that I talked about. And what happens when you have a beat and raise quarter, you can see estimates really jump up for the current year. Uh, 96 cents to $1.11. And then next year, a dollar five to a dollar twenty-six. Uh, you know what this ends up doing. This really justifies that multiple where it's at. So, I would want to say here that you know while there is growth potential here, uh, there is the the stock has probably found a floor at this level. Oh, okay. So in the hardwood floor in the sports vernacular, the it has no strikes against it. You know, it has strikes against it, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it competes in a very difficult industry. Uh, but for right now, I think we're, we can be bouncing that ball on against the floor and uh, reasonably safe to, to say we can take a three-point shot from here. All right. I think that's enough of this, Paul. They're all, <laughs> uh, do you own either of these two? I do not. All right. Check out more stock information, and you can do that on our website, zax.com. If you're not there already watching this video, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, Get over to the home page and link to it all from that starting point. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.